All right, in this uh, shoot tor short tor to <laughs> tutorial, I'll be walking you through how to use Seesaw, um, a great program that allows learners and teachers to both create videos and organize content online as well as share it with, uh, with parents. All right, so I'm on our HyperDoc, so I'm just, just going to click on our Seesaw icon and then click on the link right here. All right, it'll take me to this page. Um, I'm gonna sign in, so um, just click here to go through the sign up process. I'm not gonna walk you through that, it's pretty self-explanatory. All right, and when you sign in, you'll see um, your classes right here. Um, that you have um, your class right here. Um, these are the learners that are in, your, in this class that you're looking at. Um, if you need to, um, actually like switch or create a new class, you're gonna click right up here. And then you click here to create a new class. And then also all your classes are gonna be right here as well. All right, um, so when you want to actually create an activity, you can click right here. And you can either browse the activity library, library or you can create a new activity. So I'm gonna create a new activity. All right, and I'm going to go right here, and you see in my library um, how I already had something set up there. My cursor keeps disappearing on me. So I'm going to select my grade level, so I'll do this for kinder. Um, if there is a certain, um, this is how you actually search your library, sorry. So when you create things, um, they're going to start to build up. So this is how you're going to search your library. So right now I have nothing in there, but um, all my seesaws that I might have had um, right there would come up. But excuse me, if you want to create an activity, you're going to come over here and you click right here on create activity. You're going to put the activity name. Um, so this I'll just call practice. You're going to type the instructions for your learners. Um, so make a video to practice using C. Um, here, this is really important for kinders. You can add in your own voice instructions as well. And for all learners, you can attach an example of um, what your expectations are. Right here, if you click add a template, it'll actually let you put in a template for the activity that you might already have um, available. Um, and then once you have it all set up, you're just going to click here and click save. And then your um, activity is going to be right here in your library. Um, you can click right here and this is how you're going to assign it or share it with your class. So you just check the box right there and you can share it. But also if you want to share it with any other teachers, you can actually get the embed code or the activity link to your Seesaw right here, as well as sharing it on social media if you choose to. But I'm going to click right here now to share with this one class. Um, so this is just the steps to make sure that I'm doing it. And now I'm going to click right here that, um, to view it in the class. And I'm going to look at my activities that I have shared with my class and here it is right here here and here's one I actually have already um, assigned to them all right <clears throat> you also have an inbox right here where you can actually send announcements to your learners or to your students um, you can even send family announcements to the um, people in your family or your students' parents. So to invite the families, you just pretty simple. You just click right here to invite families. You turn on your family access and you can either print the paper invites or you can actually send out an email. Um, the paper invites are actually um, pretty nice because um, it'll have like the information um, for uh, families to log into as well as a QR code. Um, so um, they can have it on hand as opposed to uh, the email, but um, possibly doing both both. All right, that's about it to you, Seesaw. Um, hope you get you find this useful and um, and uh, and use it in your class.